FM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello there, very beautiful day to you and thank you for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Moare. Today on the program, we shall be taking a look at the Nigerian economy from the perspective of industry operators. Also on the lineup is Let's Talk and we're taking a look at Jet Systems Automobile Industries Limited and Mainland Cargo Options Limited. On Spot On, we shall continue our conversation with the highly experienced and goal-getting Patrick Aja, who is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of May & Baker Nigeria PLC, a foremost pharmaceutical manufacturing company in Nigeria. And on the face-to-face -face is a seemingly young but visionary and resourceful industry captain, Oluwa Tosi Adelowo, who is the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Check It Technologies Limited. This is a must-watch. Stay with us. Research reports have shown that any country that desires capacity and quality to enhance productivity for economic growth and development must give adequate attention to human capital. Wale Steven is the managing director of Paul Easy Properties Limited. My challenges in this business are very simple. Sometimes a client will come, raise your hope, take the client around, and after the whole thing, you don't discover that they don't even, they are not even ready. That's only the talent I have. And other thing, perfect. Determination and focus. I remember I flashed back that 2003, the first property that I sold, I didn't collect the agency fee, but I was focused. And I also have a friend that we started together. Because of that, he back out. But I was focused. It's focused. That's what you need. I said maybe we want to deceive ourselves. We understand that to, to do business in Nigeria is healthy, it's a problem. But I also believe one thing which has been my drive is determination. In the midst of chaos, you can trap. If you are focused, at the end, you will laugh. Joseph Wemimo Oshanikmi is the visionary and resourceful chief operating officer of Jet Systems Automobile Industries Limited. The ease of doing business is a good thing that federal government started that campaign and they've been working on making sure that the, the, the bureaucracy and all those things, the challenges you, we, we encounter in doing business in Nigeria are drastically reduced. They are doing their best, but again, we, there are some areas that the, the government has not done enough that they need to do better so that we can have a better climate in doing business in Nigeria. One of, of, of it is policy somersault. Well, for example, where, where uh, in our industry, the auto policy came in to encourage individuals to invest in the in, in, uh, uh, automobile industry in Nigeria. And the auto policy stand on six elements. One of the elements is training, where they we supposed to have curriculum design for uh, university or higher institutions in Nigeria to have automotive engineering, that is automobile engineering, design into their curriculum. By now we're supposed to have experts in Nigeria, trained by Nigerian University in automotive engineering. So that is not there. Again, when you have duty imposed in order to encourage local manufacturing of, of, of vehicle, and you just wake up one day and federal government crash everything and make it a so if you uh, I, I impose the same fee or the same duty on CBU, that's a completely built vehicle that are brought in into Nigeria and those who are manufactured and the SKD that have been assembled in Nigeria, when you have those things put to together and you are charging the same amount, it means mm. you are discouraging local production of, of this vehicle. We don't have the necessary infrastructure, especially power. That is one of the big problems we are having. And they are trying with ease of doing business, but we need them to do more. I hope to see Jet Motor in the next few years to be the leading tech enabled uh, mobility in the whole Africa. We want to be the one that will be setting the pace in terms of electric vehicle 
in Africa. We know the intent now is the EV vehicle. So we want Jet to be the leading company in the provision of EV vehicle in Africa. We are called Paul Easy Properties Limited. Paul Easy Properties Limited. Call us now on our hotlines. Hello, Ninja. This is a give back time. Are you a singer or a dancer or you have other special talent or you're just having fun? Here is the time for you to win big on the challenge to win contest an online reality show. Two million naira is up for grabs. Hurry now. Follow us on our Instagram page at challenge to win and register at www.challengetowin.com. Come on now and show us what you got. Proudly supported by EOM Communications Limited and powered by Proudly Nigerian Campaign. Challenge to win. Creativity, rewards, and empowerment. Prince Aderebi Adejobi is the General Manager and Chief Executive Officer of Mainland Cargo Options Limited, a subsidiary of NACO PLC. Uh, you know, the government is going to play a significant role in this. Um, like I said, if you take a look at, uh, if you carry out a SWOT analysis of the industry, um, you will discover that uh, we have threats, you know, the security situation is there, it's a major threat. You know, all manners of criminality that is ongoing most of the time along the network through which the logistics is being driven, then the level of corruption, you know, that's really making it difficult for you to transact business at a reasonable cost, because all of this translates to cost and trying to work around all these bottlenecks that we have in the industry and the like. So a whole lot, like I said, is, is going to have to come and the government is going to I mean, lead from the front in this area. Uh, it will, already be, will re need to be done in terms of national orientation that is trying to address the corruption malaise that we have in the economy. It will be also be, I mean, it needs to be done in terms of uh, creating a much more conducive environment in terms of the security situation. A whole lot also will be required to be done in terms of improving, you know, the channels through which businesses are being run, you know, in terms of the infrastructures, you know, having more, I mean, better waterways to drive. I mean, what do you call it? Uh, domestic connectivity, having um, good roads to also improve domestic connectivity. Because unless this are uh, greatly worked upon, whatever effort anybody is putting into uh, having a higher uh, domestic manufacturing or agriculture, as the case may be, I mean, it's it's going to be an effort in futility. Because no matter how much you produce, if it doesn't get to where it is needed in good time. You know, I mean, there's going to be a problem. Look at what is happening in Agri. Government has invested significantly. People are investing significantly, but the challenges are still there in terms of readily available markets, in terms of, we used to have work purchase, but we don't have that again now. Some people presently are working on creating maybe like, a, you know, a, something like a replica of a stock exchange, but the commodity exchange, we hope that happens very soon. You know, so all of these things, unless it is done, whatever you're producing is, you're just producing, you know, with the natural expectation to have a loss. Patrick Aja is the insightful, goal-getting and resourceful managing director and chief executive officer of May & Baker Nigeria PLC. May & Baker, and I'm sure, most Nigerians know about Me and Baker. Me and Baker is actually the first pharmaceutical company in Nigeria. Uh, started in 1944, um, September 4 to be precise. It started as a subsidiary of the UK arm of the company, Me and Baker UK, and was uh, importing products from the parent company selling in West Africa. Uh, but, but along the line, um, Me and Baker obviously evolved. Uh, from just selling products to building our own factory. In 1976, just across the road was the factory that we built. 
So we started manufacturing those products in Nigeria. And a whole lot has happened after that, you know, as the needs of Nigerians for our products grew, uh, we saw that that factory could not continue to sustain uh, the demand. We decided to build another factory. So somewhere in our time, in 2011, we built a modern state-of-the-art WHO uh, qualified facility at what we call Pharma Center in Ota. And um, based on what we were able to put in there, in 2014, that facility was certified by WHO. So currently, um, I will say that among the four companies that got the WHO certification, we are probably the only one on track for recertification in West Africa. Our vision is to be a leading healthcare brand in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, I probably could explain a little bit more what, what that speaks to. Um, you know, and incidentally, I, I think um, when we were doing this interview right now, um, I just came back from a very important conference um, yesterday. Uh, I was invited to Africa CEOs Forum, which is um, about 800 CEOs in Africa, five presidents, 1,800 participants. The communique really is, Africa needs to stand up. Africa needs to stop being the beggar of the whole world. And all the CEOs, we agreed, and with the presidents present at that meeting, that Africa should stop begging and start taking care of herself. We saw what happened with COVID. Other countries are going to take care of themselves first before they think about you. Nobody can love you more than yourself. We want to be a force in that movement that we have all agreed Africa needs to take. So I think our vision is apt to be a leading healthcare brand in Sub-Saharan Africa. And I've, we have already started that by making sure that before the end of this year, we'll put our footprint in other parts of Africa. So that's our vision. Our mission, uh, which is linked to that, is to improve the quality of life throughout life for all lives. What that really means is, um, we already know that life expectancy in Africa is very low compared to other parts of the world. All of these are a result of the quality of life. We worry with a whole lot of things. Um, hunger, uh, healthcare is not adequate. Many people are not covered. Fakes and all those kinds of things. So as a company, we are interested in the quality of life of Africans. And we need to improve that quality of life so people can live longer. So, and it's not just taking care of you when you're young. We want it to be through life and not just through life for a few privileged individuals. It needs to be for all lives. And that's our mission. You already know that Bear & Baker, especially now, is a, a manufacturing uh, company. Before then, I, I said we started by importing products from our parent company and selling in Sub-Saharan Africa, but we knew that was not enough. So we decided to make those products. So essentially what happens is if you are affiliated to a foreign partner, um, quality is obviously uh, one of your core uh, values in terms of making sure that the product you produce in your facility here is similar to what you can get from outside. So from day one, quality has been our watchword. Also being WHO certified, is not a joke. It means they would have checked all your processes to make sure that the quality of what you have here in Nigeria is comparable to what you're likely going to have in UK or any other part of the world. So for us, quality is our watchword. We also know that the reason why sometimes it looks as if Nigerians don't patronize what is done in Nigeria is because they were not sure that it will be the same quality as what you probably will get in UK and America. But that's the essence of the WHO certification. So we are sure that the quality of the products that we make in Nigeria is comparable to any other part of the world. So um, making sure that we give people quality products is important. Our services are also very important. 
you know, so making sure that the product is there when you need it in the right condition. And, and, and as we go along, we probably will talk about some of the things that happen along these lines. You know, so, so those are the things we do. The legacy of the original company uh, translated to the current uh, manufacturing processes that we have. The certifications we have from WHO, ISO uh, to 2015, 9001 and all of that. These are validations of the quality. And I am sure that if you have for once had headache or fever, and you probably may have been taking some paracetamol, you will know that MMB paracetamol is at the top of that. Nobody does it like we do. And, and this is what we'll bring, and these are the services we'll bring. And we want to render a lot more of that to Nigerians. This is Mainland Cargo Options Limited. Welcome to our world. Our vision is to be the leading and preferred freight forwarding company in Nigeria. And our mission is to be the most innovative, efficient, and reliable freight forwarding company providing qualitative and end-to-end -end logistics and cost-saving solutions to our customers. Mainland Cargo Options Limited. Call us now on our premium numbers. We are called Check It. Check It Technologies Limited. Our vision is that one day, Check It's labels will be the seal of genuity for every great product, ensuring you know the story of everything you consume. And our mission is that in a few years, Check It's platform will become the leading product authentication and distribution tracking technology solution globally. Check It. Call us now. Customer, now you be this. Yeah. Every time before we they see you, they work out like you know well. Now see us, you don't they come play. Before, before, malaria they knock me buzz And then one day, I go pharmacy. I don't try three different malaria medicines. None work for me. Have you tried Malact? Malact is the effective malaria medicine from May and Baker, makers of quality medicines for over 75 years. Malact contains a combination active drug called dihydroatomicinin piperiquin, which keeps working in your body for up to six weeks, stopping the malaria parasite from knocking you down. This is why Malact is your control button against malaria. Now three tablets I take you every day for three days. <laughs> now so my lads give malaria for one time. Ah, now my happy malaria. <laughs> I go punch my own back. Malat, your control button against malaria. Available in pharmacies near you. Tosi Adelowo is the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Check It Technologies Limited. Check It started October 24, 2018. That's when we registered the company. So the idea of Check It um, came about from my co-founder, um, Dario Dumade, who is the CEO of the company. And there's a program called MEST, um, the Meltwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology in Ghana. So what they do, the program still goes on till today. It's a beautiful program. They bring together um, young people from across Africa, and then they put them in a campus in Ghana where they teach them how to build, start, and grow companies. So they are. Um, equipped with knowledge in finance, software development, entrepreneurship, business development, research, and things like that. And then they are grouped together in, in teams to form a company. Um, and so one of those teams was Checky Technologies. It turns out one of the members on the team um, was a pharmacist and she had lost a patient um, who had consumed fake counterfeit uh, medication. So that was a problem that hit home. You hardly find anybody who probably hasn't had a close uh, person or a close shave with stuff like this. So we decided to do the research and find out, okay, why is this still a problem? Despite the fact that there were already companies and technologies actually tackling it. Um, we went out, spoke to people, and we found out that there was a low awareness or even patronage of it. People like, okay, yes, we see these things, but uh, we don't really care about using them. We trust, uh, for example, the pharmacies we are buying this uh, medicine from. And on the part of the manufacturers, they, a lot of them saw it as, oh, uh, it's a regulation. NAVDAC says we should do it, so we should do it. So they, they, they kind of saw an investment in it as an expense, not an investment. Uh, and we felt that's not sustainable. If you saw something as an expense, you would not try to make it 
work as much as it can work because you're in your head you'll be like, how can i even reduce spending on this since it's an expense ideation started and what came out was okay how can we use this process to help these guys collect data and insights so it becomes an investment and they are getting something out of their spend and how do we motivate consumers to actually verify these products uh, which is why we now attached rewards to the authentication process to the verification process when a consumer verifies a product and then we attach surveys to the verification process so it does the two things that we pro we said we were going to do the surveys provide the insights about so we've seen manufacturers collect insights on um, side effects and things like that so it can help you understand those things why the rewards when the consumers know that oh if i verify these products i start to gain something it pushes them to actually verify and yes the idea will run with the idea after the program um, what happens is a one-year program um, you can get funding uh, they fund some of the teams in the program go into the world and do your thing so check it um, turn down the funding and then Gary moves to Nigeria, the other members of the team moved on to other things and then he moved to Nigeria to establish the company. Um, we had been friends from NYC, uh, we met in Benue State in 2015 during our one year um, service. Uh, we lived um, in the same um, fellowship building so we were friends from there and we already knew we had this passion for technology because we were working on two different um, technology companies as at then. Um, when he came back to Nigeria, then I was working with a fintech company. And then we always used to have these Sunday get-togethers uh, where we meet on Sundays and then discuss both our careers and what we plan to do and things like that. And that's when we got, we got talking about um, about check it. Um, and I, I loved what we could we could do. Um, and then I think in beginning of 2019. Um, ending of 2018, we registered the business, started working, putting things together um, into 2019. 2019, I quit my job full time uh, to like, okay, yes, let's go at this because it was going, it was going to be tough managing um, both commitments. And if you believed in something, why not go all in? Um, yeah, so started the first client, our first paying client was Indomie. Um, we ran a, a, a marketing campaign for them where they rewarded their consumers with airtime for buying cartons of noodles. So that was done on over, I think, close between five to 10,000 um, cartons of noodles that were in different stores, shop rights across the, across the country. So that was like the validation for us. Um, pulling off like such a big deal showed us that that was our first paying client. Like, oh, wow, this can work. Um, so from that, um, we took a lot of learnings from that um, campaign and we tweaked the solution um, 2019, 2020, met Afghan the guys in Afghanistan, got uh, into the Merck Accelerator, started working with Merck Pharmaceuticals on all their anti-diabetics um, in the country. And then the growth has been, has been steady from, um, from there. 2020 was, I think, was a pivotal year for the, for the company. Despite the fact that COVID was present as at then, we actually saw an increase in our business. We more than 10x our, our, our revenue, for example, from 2019 in 2020, despite the COVID um, restrictions. So that basically just set us on a pedestal to um, start achieving more, started working with um, flour mills of Nigeria, worked with a lot more uh, manufacturing companies. Now we had that. Um, trust when we are speaking to clients we are no more just selling them an idea we are selling them actual success stories that we have done which is what we'll, we still um, like to do to today 2021 we raised our pre-seed round of five hundred thousand um, dollars i think that also was a testament to the fact that we have grown um, so much and to get investors to believe in what you're doing not just believe in what you're doing see a track record that something has been done prior to now and this team can execute on the vision they have our vision is simple we want to be that seal of genuity on every great product that um, you know once you see the um, check it code on this product you can trust this product exactly and we hope to do this by becoming the leading product technology, tracking technology um, globally so by being the, we we want to be that company that 
you can use to tell the story of every product as it's from when it was manufactured, its life journey through the supply chain till it gets to the final um, consumers. And in line with this vision, that's why we keep innovating around technologies that help track products, serialize products, and help engage with these products and collect data. So all this, it ties into why we are a consumer data platform. Because a lot of this data we collect um, and analyze, and then how we track these products, just helps to give this product identities, give this product something that you can trust. And that's where um, Check It is heading indefinitely, we know that for sure. With the significant partnerships we're already making, our innovations into traceability, from 2018 up till 2020, we focused on building out the solutions that connect the manufacturers to the end consumers. Okay, let's be able to put codes on unique codes on product, consumers can engage. We have connected one point of the supply chain. From 2020, we started building out the other aspect of our solution, which will um, then track through every other parts of the supply chain. So from um, distributor to wholesaler to retailer, we have built that technology now that monitors that movement. Then with our, the technology we already built that connects we now have a end-to-end -end view of a product's life journey. So that has been what has driven us. Uh, we are very clear about what type of technology we want to offer, and we are very clear about how we want to build that technology. We invest a lot in, in our technology team. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you are going to do a percentage of how much we invest in human resource, um, our technology will take up to 60 to 70% because we are a technology company first and foremost. So and we believe that technology is what will drive the vision because when we build, if we build superior technology, manufacturers who want to make superior products will inadvertently drift towards our technology and we're on the right path. In the actual sense of it. So, and that's why we started to champion. And that's a good point to call it a wrap on today's package of the EOM Business Network. Thank you very much for spending your valued time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to any of our other portals, as you can see on the screen. Our sincere gratitude to you, our sponsors, for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you and us, we are champs. Oh yes, I remain Olorogo Elkana Moari. Please, let's do this again. Same time, same channel next week. We'll see you then.